and the one thing I love about traveling is that we we come up against we come up and we see all these characters yeah. and there's so many and to try and show through this program the squash world some of those would be fantastic I was lucky enough to catch up with the MC Extraordinaire in, in the French Open oh, in Nantes. Yes. Yeah, Romain, Romain Sui Sui, and I caught up Sweet. with him in the, in the, in the castle and, and, and saw what he had to say. Hey, peasant, we've just taken your castle. Show me to the squash court. You English, you're arrogant. You can't play on my squash court dressed like that. We'll see about that. Well, jokes aside, Roman, uh, this is the fifth year that you've had this amazing event in Nantes. Started off uh, for the first few years as a challenger event, yep. you know, a small prize money event, but the actual spectacle of the event has been astonishing. Yeah, first of all, uh, we want to thank you about it, uh, to have come here and to, to share this kind of uh, experience. It's very important for us. We try to, yeah, to improve each year, to, to have new ideas, to show to new fights. Uh, playing squash is uh, so easy to start. Yeah. We are very proud now. What stands out, it's not just the venues and the organisation, because obviously we've talked every year, the venues have changed in amazing and very different venues. Yeah, yeah. But what stands out from a TV point of view are the crowds. One, they're always a sellout. It's always maximum numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also the atmosphere. Now, I've been told that the, the majority of the crowd are not squash players. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is a huge achievement because yeah. this is very hard to, to, to do this. But you seem to be able to do it every year yeah at, at least 60 percent of them are uh, non-playing squash people it's amazing so it's it's also a reason why you have this kind of atmosphere because they come and 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 watch uh, um, a sports uh, show and uh, they want to discover that's sure. why uh, I, i'm always trying to to explain squash rules and uh, um, I try to ask because I don't want to repeat every time the same thing. Uh, I try to ask them if uh, it's important for them or if something is not clear for sure. them. And uh, I think it's quite interactive between uh, uh, them and, and me. So You've got some of the very, very best players in the world yeah. coming. Yeah. Um, and obviously in the women's with Camille Serm being the number one seed. I mean, yeah. you've got to be very proud of having these French players in yep. the men's and women's competitions doing so well and, and being here in, in Nantes playing in this atmosphere and in this amazing venue. Yeah, I think uh, it's something uh, unbelievable, unbelievable to, for, for, for them to live and uh, I think it, it, it makes them improve as well and uh, uh, increase the pace as well on yeah. court. I think it's different to, to play here yeah. uh, with this kind of crowd and uh, with this atmosphere for French player. Yeah, so for, it's any, different. for any player though, yeah, for yeah, any player. Maybe, from yeah. what, no, yeah. it is. From yeah. all the players they report, they can't believe it. With the crowd, obviously the education factor, you, you're bringing that in, but you're an entertainer. You have to be an entertainer as the MC at the front there, and, and you do a brilliant job with that. You know, you have a lot of uh, different and crazy ideas, but the crowd absolutely love it. You've really come into your own as an MC. You're now world famous, Rama Suisui. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe in my street, yeah, I'm famous. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's something I enjoy. Yes. You know, uh, but I enjoy um, overall to 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 see smiles on faces and to see people. Uh, new fights again. Yeah. Uh, come and see me at the end and, and say thank you. I, yeah. I, I had a good moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and when I ask, uh, uh, was it the first time? Uh, they say yes, and uh, it's not the last. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, to sum up, it's just for that. No, just for brilliant. that. Where do you get your your ideas from 
to, to when you entertain the crowd because you you know I remember the first year we, we screened squash TV you were you were basically break dancing yeah. break dancing would you believe it yeah. um, on your back in very tight 70s squash gear and you just went for it and I was stunned and I loved it and so where does it whether you where does the, where these ideas come from um, unfortunately here <laughs> Uh, I, I think when you work on uh, on uh, every step of the project, yeah. uh, you're able to understand why you are starting from this point and uh, finishing to this point. So, as you know, we have uh, a strong identity. We don't want to lose it. That's why we spend money uh, for cultural event or or for uh, the seats or you know for yeah. comfort. Yeah. Uh, and as I think I, I have understood what I wanted to tell, yeah. not something common, I don't want to do like something everyone or yeah. every sport. Uh, yeah, I try to be creative and I think about it and if I think about it even three or four months uh, before, uh, I write it yeah. on the paper. And then uh, maybe one or two weeks before the show, uh, I try to, you know, like a puzzle, yeah. uh, I try to, to, to yeah, to mix every every pieces and to do something I think it could be funny and uh, agreeable to live. I want them to understand, yeah. I want them to applause, to make noise, to, to, to do something even for you, even for Squash TV and TV spectators, it's yeah. important they, they have a good moment, a good time uh, and uh, I think I, I want them as well to, uh, to come back home for example, on, on, on Tuesday and come back on Wednesday, yeah. you know, and talk about it and talk about squash and democratize it, you know? Yeah. Well, you do a fantastic job. I mean, the organizers are wonderful. You do a fantastic job. It's not easy being out there in front of over a thousand pe people yeah. and, and having to interview in a second language. Yeah. You do a wonderful job and we wish you the best of luck for the rest of the event and, uh, and we're looking forward to the entertainment side. So you won't kill me today? I won't kill you today, <laughs> but there's always tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> Joey, that suit of armor, I'm never going to get that out of my head. Good. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not good. There will be a knight in shining armor <laughs> there for you. It's not good, um, but it seemed like quite the blast. It was, it was, it was brilliant. I mean, I'm always partial to, to a bit of dress up, as you know. Um, it was very hot. Uh, being inside that castle was extraordinary, though. As a venue, it was unbelievable. The uh, the health and safety at one stage were looking, and this is no joke, were looking to call the police because I actually had a real sword, and they obviously didn't trust my my dexterity. Who, my who would? Who would? Exactly. Yeah. Who would? But uh, no, I mean, as an event, they've changed the venues every year. For me, it's the best event on the PSA World Tour yeah. because they fill it with. 65 to 70 percent of the crowd are non squash playing um, uh, people, so it's spreading the sport out of our kind of squash bubble that we want. Um, you would have loved being there as well, I would, very, I would, very, very sociable. I watched, I watched on the line on the screen, and I could not get over the atmosphere. I don't think, even as a, a spectator watching through the TV, that um, there's been an event like it. I, I, my feeling was, how can we re recreate something like that elsewhere? Well, this is, this, so is, this, is, this is what I would say to a lot of uh, tournament promoters that are doing stuff to, to actually even have a chat with, there's, there's a, a core of four people involved with the organisation in, in Nantes, so they, they're the volunteers that, that really do uh, know how to put on the event. There's a professional background with two of them of event promoting in different areas, not, not, not just squash in all sorts of no. different areas, but what also fascinates me is the way they move the event in different venues every year within the city. So next year is going to be, I can't say where it's going to be yet, but next year we'll be in a different venue to the castle. Wow. But yeah, it was, it, was, it was fantastic. I mean, to be part of that was awesome. And, um, you know, like I said, hopefully I'll get to dress up next year. And, and, you know, Fingers crossed. That's the most important thing.